Hi guys, today's challenge is to make a car with dimensions that are no more than 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Um, but there was no specification as to what I could use to power it. So I've got a couple of ideas, I'll probably make them both. But I'll, I'll do the quick and easy one first. And for that, I'm going to use a wooden stirrer from the coffee shop, a polystyrene pizza base, and a polystyrene cup. Oh, and a rubber band. I've measured my polystyrene cup and it looks like it's about 75 millimeters diameter at the wider end. So I've set my compass to 45 millimeters and drawn a circle. In fact I've drawn two circles on my polystyrene pizza tray. So that's my two wheels. A rubber band to go through the middle. I'm also going to use that bottle top to give us a, a bearing surface or a rubbing surface. Friction surface? Can't think what word to use. Uh, but I found that worked quite well on another one of these that I made, so I'll use that. I need to make the holes in the middle a little bit bigger, so I'm just opening them up gently using a pencil. to make a hole in the middle of that one. Right, to make life easy I've straightened out a paper clip. So now I can push that through there. Push it through there. Before it goes all the way, I've got that little bit of my stirrer left over, so I'll put that through there. So that stops the rubber band pulling right through. Through that one. through my bottle top and put my other stirrer or the other bit of the stirrer through the loop and I'll just put a bit of sticky tape over there to stop it moving. It probably won't move anyway, but I will put a bit of sticky tape on it if I can find the end. There it is. So, all we need to do is wind that up.
it's going a bit slow. Probably need to wind it up a bit more, or maybe use two rubber bands. Well, that works. So that's a rubber band powered car, two wheels, and well, it's well under 150 millimeters wide and less than 150 millimeters long and well under 150 millimeters high. And it works. So that was quick and easy. And that's a car. All dimensions under 150 millimeters. Okay guys, let's play spot the difference. I've done quite a few modifications now. First thing you'll notice is I've put bigger wheels on both sides. Still less than uh, the 15 centimetres. I think these are about 12 centimetres now. And I've coiled lots of wire round the plastic cup to try and add some weight to it. Because, because it's all polystyrene, it's so light it just skips instead of moving forwards. So I've also got two rubber bands on there to give us a bit of extra power. So I'll wind it up. Right, this seems to turn quite a bit to the right, so I'm pointing it well to the left to try and get it to go the full length of my kitchen. There we go. I think that would have gone quite a bit further if it could. So there we go, that's a well, it's a rubber band powered car, to be honest. It's two wheels and it's powered by a rubber band. Um, I call it a chariot because it's two wheels. But the purpose of this project was to make something that was under 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres. And that wooden stirrer I've actually cut and it's just slightly shorter than 15 centimetres. It's about 14.8. So you can see the wheels are about 12 centimetres. And width-wise, again, well, we're under 15. It's about 12 or 13 wide. So that meets the 15 by 15 by 15 criteria. It may not be quite what you had in mind when you said 15 by 15 by 15, but it does the job. And all that wire is just there to add weight to it, to stop it skipping around when it's going. And there you are, I haven't even wound it up anymore. And that's gone another 5 metres. So that's going to do 10 metres easily. Anyway, that's the first one of my 15 by 15 by 15 projects.